Alright guys, I want to do a first look video of this uh, Colt piston carbine. It's a 6940P model, which is a piston gun. So, um, got this gun because um, I have uh, several AR-15s and the one I didn't have was a piston AR-15. I really wanted to have one just to, just to have one in the collection and see what it was like. Uh, I did notice that with the piston gun, you get uh, a little bit more recoil, felt recoil. The impulse is m more stiff, and you can really see how the uh, ejection pattern and just it ejects, in my opinion, like a air um, AK, not forward, but just very um, aggressively. So, usually with my guns, when I do a first look video or um, first initial impression video. They're usually plain and um, don't have anything on it, like accessory-wise, optics, lights, or anything. But I've had this gun for a couple months, and I was lucky enough to be able to find some good deals on some gear. So I was able to outfit out how I have it set up, which is kind of like, in my opinion, an ideal patrol rifle setup. Pretty much a light, uh, basic optic. And um, I run a Magpul, um, I think it's the MS-3 or whatever with this gun, with the QD. The QD mounts. Actually, I think it's an MS-1 that I just added QDs to it to keep it short and just simple. So, I did make a couple changes. I put the Magpul Mo Grip, which is probably going to go for um, a uh, BCM one the Mod. I think Mod 1 uh, Grip. So I'm switched out with that one. I like the, uh, the ergonomics better and the, um, the um, the degree of the, the kit for the um, pistol grip itself better than the Mo. I have a B5 sub mod stock here. Uh, it came with the mag book for uh, rear sight. I put the uh, charging handle for the um, BCM charging handle in there, which is pretty much a must in my opinion on the ARs. Bought one of the new Aimpoint ACOs and just bought a front cap for it. Pretty much that's how I'm going to leave it. I might get a rear cap for it, I'm not sure reason why I want the front cap because I usually have my gun sitting in the safe and other places with the muzzle up so debris or dust or whatever could build up on the front lens and I just rather have that uh, protected. This gun has a monolithic uh, upper so there's a tab on the here actually right here under the this portion of the rail cover that allows you to uh, Remove the lower part of the handguard so you can take the barrel out of the uh, out of the upper. Up front, I have a Surefire SRO7 switch with a air socket defense. Forget what it goes by, but I pulled the correct name up there, which is a little cheaper than buying the actual Surefire light. And uh, um, Malkoff uh, devices uh, uh, head on there. I'm not sure the specs on there, but I'll put that up there also. This is going to be a Surefire, um, I think it's U, UE07 cap and FDE, and a um, uh, one of the Travis Haley uh, Thorntail mounts, the SBR offset mount. So it has a flip up front sight, came standard with the uh, Front, uh, the gas gas block and it has a a capture system once it once it locks in the up position so you got to pull up on that to lower it. it has this little notch that locks into the and keeps it up so you can't just knock it down the gun has somewhat of a hybrid piston system so they don't really claim to be a short or a long or a long stroke piston system um, so I'm gonna drag the bolt out of there and uh, show you the actual op rod to get to the op rod you have to uh, punch this pin out it's captured so it can't come all the way out it'll go out only goes one way from uh, left to right no. Under tension, so got to be careful with that. So, this is the op rod, it's uh, all self contained. 
it has a spring system here and um, it's pretty much fixed there's no adjust adjustments on this so here we have the uh, boat carrier and the um, op rod so it's pretty much a uh, push system where it butts up against here and cycles the, the action um, from the piston so it's not a long stroke where this would be normally attached to the uh, the uh, carrier itself so it's, it's, it's more along the lines of a short stroke system but they consider it a hybrid now to put it back in you just reinsert it and And you have to be mindful of this divot. That's where the pin goes across. So this needs to be lined up along with this pin right here. And it'll be set in place like this. Then you bring your pin right across. And it's back. It's reinstalled. Uh, this gun, I actually bought it for right around two grand. Uh, only reason I bought it is when I looked at the LR LWRC guns and a couple of the other... <clears throat> guns that are along the piston line I just chose this one number one because it was readily available at my dealer and number two because it was at the lower end of the price points of some of the other guns and I really don't have a gun that has more of an M4 profile or M4 setup uh, anymore all my guns are uh, have longer rails and SPR like or you know these um, hybrid type rifles so it's kind of like more of a traditional look so I felt that this is the this is probably be the best one for me to go with, and so I went with it. It's kind of high priced for what it is, but um, I, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it for everybody looking for a gun. I definitely see a DI gun as a much cheaper option and get you the same results. So I'm not I'm not praising that everyone run out and get a a um, piston gun, but for those who are interested, you know it's it's a decent option. I'm not planning any more upgrades on this gun. This gun is pretty much set in stone how it is. Uh, I might um, send the barrel out to ATCO and get them to cut it to 14 and a half and pin an AAC uh, flash hider or something. It's one of these uh, AAC mounts for a suppressor so I can suppress the gun. But that's the only thing I'm thinking about doing. It's not even set in stone. I'm not sure if I really want to do that or not. I just have a thing against 16 inch guns. I don't know why. But for now, it's, it's going to sit like this until I run out of projects and I revisit this gun. Once again, as, as usual, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, post in the comment section anything, any questions you have to ask about this particular gun. I'll try to answer it.